Hi, for those who don't know me, my name is Anne and I'm the mum of Benji Fishy, who is 16 years old and is a Fortnite player signed with NRG Esports. The world of gaming and esports is fairly new and largely misunderstood and so I wanted to put something together for parents so that you can have an understanding of both the game and what the opportunities are available and how it is possible to have a career in esports. For those of you who would like to find out a little bit more about Benji and myself, there have been a couple of videos done, so I have put the links in the description so that you can have a look. Becoming a professional in any discipline, whether that's sports or arts, takes a lot of hard work and exactly the same applies to esports. Being signed as a professional esports player is similar to being signed as a professional footballer or getting a part to perform on a West End stage. I'm sure for most of you who have children, you'll already be familiar with some of the games that they play either on console or PC. So games such as FIFA, Animal Crossing, League of Legends, Call of Duty and Fortnite to name a few. Fortnite is probably one of the most popular games and can be played on either console, mobile or computer. The game is what they call a battle royale, so therefore you start off with a number of players and in the case of Fortnite that is 100 and the idea is to eliminate everyone so that you are the last person and claim the victory royale. Each game can take up to about 20-25 minutes and it isn't possible to pause or restart the game. The game is extremely skillful and requires a lot of technical and mechanical skills as well as a good understanding of what is going on around you. Just to give you an example, I've linked in the description a video that one of the casters, Baller, did about multitasking just so that you can get a better understanding as to what goes on in a competitive game. Fortnite came into the news in July 2019 when they held the World Cup Finals in New York. There was 10 weeks of qualifying, both for solos and duos, and the top 100 players and the top 50 duos from around the world came together to compete in the grand finals. The winners of both competition took away a first prize of $3 million. Since then, there have been a lot of online and LAN competitions for players to be able to participate in, and the age limit for competing is 13 years old. For those of you who think this is a scam and that there's no way they would get the money, I can absolutely 100% confirm that this is not the case and that lives have been changed, including our own. I've put in the description the links for the videos for Booga who won the World Cup solo competition and Aqua and Nyrox who won the duo competition at World Cup. Competing at a competitive level is not going to be for everyone. And there are other careers that you can have within the esports world. I've put a link to the parents guide from the British Esports Association so that you can find out more information. Esports is not all just about being at home, although it does form a large percentage, but there are also the opportunities to be able to travel the world. During the last year we've had the opportunity to be able to travel to America, Sweden, Norway, Germany, Australia and Tokyo. Right now we're in San Diego for TwitchCon. I played in Twitch Rivals. I have a lie to the bank, bro. What Benji's achieved in such a short space of time makes you really proud. Oh. If you told me where he would be this time last year, um, you know, you, you wouldn't believe it. In the past few months, I've learned a lot about who I am, where I want to be. Traveling the world, just like play a game that I love, it's, it's the coolest thing, I love it. It is. It's insane, bro. The past year has been nuts. Uh, so much has happened in the past, like, not even past year, obviously in the past year, but like, the past like two months, three months, since World Cup has been insane. Like literally a year ago, I was on nothing. Like literally nothing. All I was doing was just playing games because I, you know, I played Rocket League and League of Legends just because I enjoyed it. And li like I grinded Fortnite so hard, bro. I like my dream ever since I was a kid was to be a Fortnite, like a, not a, a pro gamer. Like literally, that I always just played games just so I could try and become pro. And 
This, bro, this year has been easily the best year of my life. I hope this has given you an introduction to the world of competitive esports. If you would like to find out more information, I've put the links in the description. And thank you for watching.